Hello football lovers, especially Chelsea fans. Let me introduce myself, my name is UB Pawada. As usual, I will provide the latest and most updated news that I have summarized for you. But before that, I want to remind you, don't forget to subscribe, so you always get notifications every day. Before we start, I want to give you some update info from this channel. That, in addition to Chelsea news in the form of long videos, I will also provide Chelsea news in the form of YouTube short videos. An example of the video is like what you see now, so don't forget to watch the short video too. Thank you. Was Lisandro Martinez lucky to escape a red card? We look at the controversial challenge that had people talking after Manchester United's draw with Chelsea. On Sunday, in a tense Premier League clash, Roy Keane and Gary Neville weighed in on a tackle that caught the eye. Lisandro Martinez's challenge on Cole Palmer was deemed nasty by both pundits, sparking a heated discussion. Gary Neville didn't hold back, commenting, When you go that high, you're asking for a red card. He felt Martinez was fortunate to only get a yellow card. Meanwhile, Roy Keane agreed, stressing how Palmer controlled the situation. It was a dangerous challenge, he said, suggesting that if the Argentine had touched harder, there would have been no argument about the red card. Jamie Redknapp also weighed in, calling the tackle reckless and stressing Martinez's intent. Frank Lampard backed up the criticism, stating that it was a clear red card, as there was no genuine attempt to win the ball. Adding fuel to the fire, Enzo Maresca confirmed that Palmer received treatment after the game, raising concerns about his fitness for the upcoming clash with Arsenal. Maresca stated, For me, when there is no intention to take the ball, it's a red card. So what do you think? Was the referee right to let Martinez off the hook? Should he have been sent off? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Next up is a hot news story from Old Trafford, an incident that has got us all talking. Cole Palmer was in the spotlight after being caught out by a challenge from Lissandro Martinez in the 1-1 draw against Manchester United. Enzo Maresca has provided an update on Palmer's condition. In the midst of an intense game, Martinez was only given a yellow card, when many would have thought it should have been a red. Maresca was adamant that he felt Martinez should have been sent off. What do you think? Despite the injury and needing ice on his foot, Maresca is optimistic that Palmer is not seriously injured. Even though he didn't score, Palmer was still a key figure on the pitch, with three key passes and nine duels won. It shows just how vital he is to the team. Interestingly, Palmer will miss the next game against Noah in the Europa Conference League, giving other stars such as Joao Felix and Christopher Nkunku a chance to shine. Will they be able to fill in? And the question is, will Palmer be ready to face Arsenal at the weekend? We're all hoping he can feature. With Chelsea now above Arsenal in the league table, this match is looking increasingly interesting to watch. Leave your thoughts on the incident in the comments below, and who should start against Arsenal? Have Chelsea finally found a way to deal with Manchester United? There was plenty to talk about in this 1-1 draw. This week's match between Manchester United and Chelsea not only provided some interesting moments, but also exposed many shortcomings from both teams. Although it ended in a draw, many observers considered the performance of both teams to be very disappointing. Manchester United, as usual, produced a game that frustrated their supporters. In the match report, it seemed that could have been better was the right assessment for almost all their performances this season. They managed to score from a Bruno Fernandes penalty, but just four minutes later, Moises Caicedo equalized. In his post-match interview, Enzo Maresca admitted that there were two United players who were difficult to contain, Marcus Rashford and Alejandro Garnacho. Maresca said, We knew we would concede some chances, especially on the counter-attack, because of the skills of these players. Despite Chelsea conceding, Maresca felt his side had done a lot of things well, stating, Overall, we controlled the game quite well. However, the underwhelming performances of Garnacho and Rashford were a concern, with each registering just two attempts on target. After the equalizer, Maresca felt Chelsea were too careless and could have lost the game. We went behind and came back, but after 1-1, we were too open, and that was a risk, he added. So what do you think? Do Manchester United need to make wholesale changes to improve their form? Or are Chelsea already showing signs of improvement? Leave your comments below. Next, we will discuss an interesting statement from Enzo Maresca. 
after the exciting match against Manchester United at Old Trafford. In his interview, Maresca revealed one of his team's greatest achievements, the ability to come back from a goal down. He admitted, we did the most difficult thing in this stadium, which is to equalize after going behind. This shows the winning mentality that Chelsea are building. However, Maresca also did not hesitate to criticize his team. He noted that their desire to equalize actually left them more open to United's counter-attacks. Manchester United's chances came after Chelsea managed to equalize. Maresca reminded that this was normal, especially because Chelsea played better and should have won. When asked whether the draw felt like two points lost or one point added, his response was quite wise. We knew how difficult this game was, especially with the situation they just changed the manager. This statement highlights how important context is in football. Although the final result was only a draw, Maresca felt that there was a valuable lesson learned. He believes that it is moments like these that will determine whether the team can compete at the top or just perform well at the start of the season. Despite the disappointment, we can see optimism in Maresca. The team is on the right track, although results against big teams like Manchester City, Liverpool and Manchester United show that there are challenges to face. So, can Chelsea rise and prove themselves as a top team? Let's discuss in the comments section. Next, let's look at Chelsea's player ratings after the match. Goalkeeper and defense. GK, Robert Sanchez, 6.5. The Spaniard actually played well before he gave away the penalty. RB, Malo Gusto, 6.5. Had freedom on the right side of the pitch because neither Marcus Rashford nor Alejandro Garnacho moved back. However, he did not make the most of the space. Got caught out in the second half. CB, Wesley Fofana, 7.8. Lost control of the ball before Rasmus Hoyland was brought down by Sanchez. Equally guilty of the penalty, as was the goalkeeper. CB, Levi Colwill, 7. Got caught out by the opposition's defensive line a few times, but he still did his job well in defense. LB, Rhys James, 7. Very shaky in the first half and was caught under the ball before Rashford hit the crossbar before halftime. Did better when moved to the right. Midfielder, CM. Moises Caicedo, 8.3. Best player on the pitch by far. Caicedo was everywhere, winning possession in vital areas. Of course, the highlight was his superb volley that brought Chelsea level shortly after they had gone behind. CM, Romeo Lavia, 7.1. Looked very comfortable alongside Caicedo in the middle of the park. AM, Cole Palmer, 7.7. .7. Apart from a couple of great touches, the 22-year-old barely made an impact. Forward, RW, Noni Madueke, 6.8. Hit the crossbar from a corner early on, but Nusser Mazraoui was able to deal with it for much of the game. LW, Pedro Neto, 6.9. The Portugal international was somewhat anonymous before the break, but improved. Nito fired a low shot wide early in the second half and was more involved after being moved to the right. CF, Nicholas Jackson, 7.2. Not the best performance from the striker who could not get a hold of the ball.